Hiya Dishies, look at all this wonderful, beautiful jadeite. My husband went to an estate sale down the street. Um, he had lots of depression glass and art glass, but my husband bought all the jadeite for me for my birthday and I absolutely love it. I don't know when I will ever come across these pieces again. All the pieces here are either Jeanette or McKee. There are some clam broth pieces which are similar to jadeite. It's a little bit more translucent than the opaque jadeite. There's no fire king here and everything glows. There's only, there's one piece, which is a Czechoslovakian candy dish. I'll probably start with that. And a little cake plate that I bought myself at a thrift store yesterday that seemed like it belonged in here. So I wanna show you those. Those two pieces do not glow. It's a bright sunny day here, so you're not gonna get a good idea, but it all glows. Not in mint condition or perfect condition, but very usable condition oh my gosh i'm just so excited here is the candy dish and it you can see that it is a similar jadeite color so i don't think my husband really he doesn't know what it all means but he did such a great job how could i possibly complain look how beautiful this is and you can almost see like a little dark ring and i think that's just the way the glass looks can you see that little dark green ring it's not that it is dark green oh it's wet because i've washed it it's white inside it's white inside and it's very very thin and fragile and i'm gonna try to show you There was a little mark, at first I thought, oh, there's no marking. Do you see the bowl? And it kind of, don't really notice a marking. And then if you look ever so carefully, there is a little mark here. I don't, I can't see in what you're seeing. Anyway, there's a little mark here. And even with the loop, I had to kind of just, <laughs> try to do the best I could, but it says Czechoslovakia. So I really don't know anything about it. It's a, you know, it's about the size of a cereal bowl. So it's probably just a little candy or nut bowl. And I think it's very pretty. I'll show you the piece that I bought at the, at the, if you watch my Instagram, you saw my Miromatic timer from 1950. I just love that. Um, I bought this little cake stand at a charity shop we were at yesterday, and it is really pretty. I don't know anything about it. There's no marking on it. It's also a kind of a clam broth or opaline color. It's a jadeite color and it does not glow. So I just bought that for myself. Where to begin? So there's two plates. These are Jen, no, these are McKee plates and you can see the little McKee logo on them. I don't know if you can see it. These are salad plates. They're eight and three quarters inches across. Sorry, I'm not used to filming this way. I don't even know if you can see. And you can see the little laurel pattern there. And there's two of them and they're in great condition. They I have two refrigerator dishes. These are both by Jeanette. They're not marked on the bottom, but these are the Jeanette style. And I think they're four and a quarter square or four inches square, something like that. And this one of course does not have a lid and it's in great shape, beautiful color. And this one does have the lid and the Jeanette lids have this nice little rounded area on the inside, which is kind of nice. It kind of makes a nice little seal and they are easy to hold. This one does have some problems. This, I don't know if this is a chip or it's almost like a, uh, what am I trying to say? 
Um, it's like a little defect in the manufacturer because it's pretty smoothed over, but it's almost just like a little dimple in the glass. This was, these were chips, or are chips, clearly. So there's some chips on the corners of the lids, and I don't mind at all because it's so difficult to find lids, especially original lids to these old 1930s refrigerator dishes. Okay, next I have these. I believe these were made by Jeanette. These I'm not 100% sure. These are some little measuring cups. I have two quarter cup or two ounce measures. Unfortunately, it's not a whole set, but I don't mind. Isn't it wonderful just to have any of this? It is to me. Just think about how old it is. And this is uh, half a cup and it is four ounces. Yep, it's a little, this has a little flake off the little handle here, but I don't mind. And this, this is a little McKee ramekin. You can see the little McKee logo there, the M, is it MCK? It's in the circle. It's the McKee logo. Yeah, this is a little ramekin. It's about three inches by two inches, something like that. And it's in perfect condition. And let me show you these clam broth pieces. I'll probably have to move around here to show you. These are two of my favorite pieces. I love this clam broth look. I don't know that I've ever seen it before, even at an antique mall. Um, this is a large dish and it probably was a refrigerator dish with a clear lid. My Jean Florence book had one of these in there and I can't remember if it was Jeanette. It probably was Jeanette. Um, anyway, it's a nice tall one, nice and big. I don't know, maybe I'd be able to find a lid to fit it, but it would be nice to put things in. You could put, you know, your dish soap in there. Something. See what I'm doing. And this is a large, I guess it would be a refrigerator pan of some kind. It is large and when I previewed this estate sale, I saw this and I wanted it. They had everything marked. The smaller pieces were marked at $30 a piece and this was marked at $70. My husband got a significant deal on everything. He paid um, approximately $10 a piece for everything, which was really great. So it has these little ridges in it. So it may have been to catch, you know, when you defrost your freezer and to catch the water for that. I'm not really sure. If anybody knows, let me know. It has a significant chip. Well, it's not that significant. It's just like some roughness there in the corner, but it doesn't bother me one bit. And I will probably be using this in my, I have a little um, hutch that I use as a pantry because I have no storage in my old home. And I will probably be replacing some of the little plastic containers I have in there storing spices with this so I can see it all the time. I absolutely love it. So I've done these. So these are some Jeanette refrigerator dishes and they are also in the clam broth. And I think, did the McKee, or the McKee called their similar color a Skokie color? Is that right, Scott? Something like that. Oh, there's the ice cream truck. Can you hear the ice cream truck? That's pretty retro, don't you think? And I'm gonna use everything. I'm not gonna put it in a cupboard and only admire it and never use it because I'm a tactile person and I'm gonna wanna get my hands on it. This lid was in pretty good condition. There was a little chip inside. And the second one, this is just a manufacturer flaw. It's not, it looks like a big old crack, but it is not. It's just what happened when the glass was cooling. It's not 
it's not cracked at all it's just almost like a different color it, there is a little chip on the inner rim there and this glass also has a little straw mark there and some bubbles in it but there's no real cracks in it so yeah and those types of um, irregularities were very common and look at this oh i love this piece this does not have a marking i could not find one online at all to match this and i would say this may be the most valuable piece that's here but i don't know for sure it's a drippings jar and it's made by jeanette you can tell from the lid and it's just i just love it love it God, there was just a sticker there. I didn't get it quite all off. And it is in, this is in perfect condition. There's no problems at all with this, this bowl. And some of these, the, the beehive style, you would see with the, you would see with the black lettering on them. But this one does not have that. And, oh, here, let me show you before I get to that. Here's another refrigerator dish, oops, by McKee. There's the logo there, and the logo's also on the lid. And this is in great condition. So this one's about four inches by five inches. Is it? Three by five, three by four, four by five, something like that, a little more rectangular. Love it. And look at this. I do not know who made this. This is kind of like the clam broth and kind of like the Skokie glass. So I'm not really sure about this. Um, it does not have any marking on it. It's a two spouted measure. So I don't know who made it. And it says full right here. And then here's the measures here, one quarter, one half, three quarters, one cup. And they're, <laughs> they're not terribly precise, but the little lines inside are more precise. And there's some kind of damage on this spout. It's almost like a little flake, but it's not actually cracked and falling off. It's pretty usable. Lastly, I have these three reamers and I believe they were all made by McKee. They're, these are, would be orange juicers. This one has a nice pointy swirly top and a little footed, I guess you would call that a footed bottom. And it is in pretty good condition there. It does have a little little roughness roughness here and these aren't terribly valuable i probably will be selling at least two of those maybe i'll keep that one that's rough there and the others say sunkissed you've all seen these before and these are in perfect condition these sunkissed ones yeah and that is everything that i got and oh maybe i ought not do that I hope that you enjoyed seeing my new Jade Ike collection. My favorite pieces are the measuring cup and the, the beehive, the beehive, oh my gosh, and the beehive, and the beehive grease jar. Those are probably my two favorites, but I love them all. I love it all. What's your favorite? Do you collect jadeite? Do you like jadeite? Uh, would you have bought all of these things? Would you keep them? Would you sell them? Anyway, everyone have a great day. I appreciate you coming in to the kitchen and looking at all this great 1930s glass with me. Ta everyone. Mm -hmm.